going on everyone this is the McCurdy Outdoors YouTube channel and today we're back up at the Cutting Mountain area and we're starting where I stopped off last time just because the weather's better and I believe the snow melted down quite a bit and at least on the front side of the mountain there's hardly any snow at all we're kind of in the middle right here on the ridge line and the goal is to get up to Hornet Lake. Hornet Lake's about, oh, I wanna say about 10 miles from that point. You follow this ridge line all the way across until you get up to the, basically the road that goes up to the Cuddy Mountain Peak. And from there you take a right and you can access both uh, uh, it's Hornet Reservoir and there's another small lake over there. I think it's Rush Lake. I think going back up this is going to be a little bit of a pain but I think we'll make her. Anyway, that's the plan for today. Not sure about um, how much riding I'm gonna be doing. Probably for about the next month or so. Uh, just because of the holidays. And I guess it kinda all depends on weather and if anybody wants to go ride. Well, just had the GoPro die. So, get up here before we start going up um, get the battery changed which that just must be a bad battery because before I left the house they were all com completely full so that leads me to believe that battery's toast. Anyway, we're gonna cut the film. I'm gonna get a new battery in that thing and probably check all the other ones. And I'll catch you back when we're going up this hill. Not sure what's up with that battery, but hopefully it works now. But it's a beautiful sunny Tuesday morning. There's not too many other places I'd rather be rather than riding. I know this trail specifically is probably not going to be doable here soon unless, unless you bring another vehicle or a couple. There's only a few inches of snow. It's just <laughs> the off camber areas are a little dicey. curious as to where this is gonna lead because I'm not really seeing the road shoot over there must follow this ridge line nope goes over that way alrighty Anyway, not a lot new with the channel. Um, I did have a logo made. It's made off one of the uh, websites. And I had a buddy touch it up to make the final exact um, product that I wanted. And I think it turned out very well. I really like it. And I could see me using that um, in my intro, watermarking videos, etc. I think it looks very, very good, better than anything that I could have ever made. But besides that, um, still kind of running into the same issue. Um, 
which might limit me pretty soon with uh, finding buddies that want to ride on weekdays specifically Monday or Tuesday just because most everybody I know with machines don't have those days off so makes it hard and I know in my last video I kind of harped on the benefits of riding alone and why you should but when the weather comes in and there's deep snow and I mean you can get yourself in a lot of trouble real quick and I don't mean just stuck machines I mean you could roll and hurt yourself get yourself killed get yourself stranded I mean there's a lot that can happen and the saying is true there is safety in numbers but I think the my video more directed at people you know when when there's good weather there's good trails good roads to ride on you shouldn't be hesitant on you know going out by yourself and exploring definitely tell where the sun's warmest and where it's hitting this whole side is you know there's a few inches but over there there's nothing but thus far it hasn't been anything that I don't think I can get back in And I do plan on coming back next spring and kind of mapping out everything that's over here. I know there's several, several roads before this. And Google Maps and a lot of the maps that I carry in my GPS on uh, Backcountry Navigator just, they don't show. Simply because I, I'm not sure if someone just didn't map them on the map I have or or what the issue is but I'm curious to find out where those roads go so once we have better weather I'll be back up here and that takes me to my next point um, is anyone pre-ordered the new version of Backcountry Navigator I know it's like a hefty price and I bought the Backcountry Navigator Pro on sale it is fairly cheap I think it was under, it was about five or seven bucks. And the new one, they're asking, uh, I think it's, uh, what was it, like 50 bucks? And I'm not sure if that comes with like every map available or updated maps or, I haven't really done too much uh, investigation into it, but I'm curious um, what it comes with and is, if anybody has any more knowledge on that, go ahead and comment below. Do a little bit deeper snow. Nothing too crazy. I think those marks are where Racer Red turned around last week.
I'm also trying out the new camera that's over to my left. Just trying an idea of trying to get some B footage or side footage, but keep it somewhat, keep the camera somewhat internal into the vehicle so I'm not having to worry about it either breaking, a rock hitting it, screen cracking, and wiping mud and water and all that crap off of it. Definitely nobody been through here except for animals. Which isn't surprising unless you know about this spot. You're really not going to find it on a publicized map. It could be on the, the Idaho All Trails. Don't quote me, but I know for sure Google doesn't have it. And surprisingly enough, I use Google and Google Earth for quite a bit of the research on where I want to ride, just because you can, you can zoom in and the maps are somewhat accurate. I mean, there's still no telling what you can get yourself into, but for the most part, fairly accurate and gives you a good idea what I'm worried about right now is a log being over the road didn't bring the chainsaw, didn't even think about it, which might be a mistake on my part, but we'll see. Crick. Another one. I believe the road goes straight across. Hopefully this isn't too deep. Oh, she's frozen solid. And I want to give a shout out to Miller. She's supposed to come today. Something came up family wise. Wasn't able to make it. And that happens. So I'm sure on the next one, he'll make an appearance. He's the one that's done a lot of the photography for me. He's a professional photographer.
somebody check around out. Jack Trail, that's the one we came up. Huh. Cool. Glad we made her.